Hi there, welcome back to another Fiddle Quick Fiddle Lesson. That tune was Blackberry Blossom. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please support me on Patreon and help me keep the videos coming. So first, let's go over the tune part by part, bit by bit. It's a lot of patterns and it's a lot of outlining the chord. So the first chord is G and it starts on G, goes up to the third of the chord and back down. So you've got G, up to A, up to B, and back to G. So you're going up three scale tones and back to where you started. So now we go down a step and do the same pattern. Down a step in the same pattern. So you hear that pattern, we'll do that again. So starting on G, down to F sharp, down to E. And then we end the phrase with something different. So you don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over again. So we'll do something different. So we start on D, B, A, G. So putting that all together. You hear how that right there doesn't sound particularly fiddly. What will make this sound more fiddly is to do different bow patterns. This is the tune that I learned all these different bow patterns on. I practiced the entire first half of it with all the different patterns kind of forcing some places where it wasn't, I don't know, a natural feeling but I found that some of those places where I didn't think it felt real natural actually ended up giving it a really cool feel. So I say, just you know, pick that one of those bones and go all the way through. But let's take this phrase and do that. So first one would be what's often called the Nashville shuffle, where you're going slur to separate, slur to separate. It's also called run pony, run pony, because your bow's going run, pony, run, pony, but in this case, your fingers aren't doing that as well. So we're going. Give an accent on the third and you know, the third note of every group before. So here, sorry. Uh, seem like it takes longer to learn a tune when you stop and do these bowings now, but actually it will be easier to get the feel into the tune if you do it now than if you wait till you know the whole tune and then you try to change something. So, okay, so there's one bowing. Another bowing is start with three separates and then slur three. So one, two, three, slur three. One, two, three, slur three. So we've got two left over after the end of the slur. So take a minute, play that one. You can also, after doing the one, two, three, and then do the slur three. You can do one, slur three, down, slur three, down, slur three. We haven't talked about those next notes, but. So you can hear how when I do that down bow, that really gives it that accent. Okay, another one is to play three and three and two. I like this one a lot. If 
you accent where the bow changes, you hear how that gives you some syncopation. The next part, we start with that same pattern, starting on the first finger on the D string, got that same going up a step, up another half step, and back down to where you started. And then D, E, G. So take a minute, put that together. And when you feel like you've got that, The notes of a G arpeggio, they're not quite in the order that we're used to doing them, but it'll be B, D, B, G. So B, D, G, D, and then A, C, E, F sharp. So let's do those eight notes again. So let's put that chunk together. Alrighty, let's do that again. the National Shuffle. Doing it with the, I don't know what kind of shuffle you'd call it, the one where you go down and then three ups. So three plus three plus two. So take a minute and work your way through all of that and then come back and we'll put that whole chunk together. So, so far we have We start out the same way. So all that hard work is going to pay off now because we do this again. And this is where it changes. So we've got G, sorry, we've got B, G, A, F sharp, G. So now, aren't you glad you took the time? Because now you know half of the song. So here's the whole first half. One and two, and here I go. repeats. Now on to the B section. Starts on E, then goes up to the octave. It's easiest really to play with a fourth finger. Because once you get going fast, you go from ear to E. It's going to be tricky. Yeah, anyway. So going from this E to this E, So that's E, E, B, D, E. 
and then you essentially do it again. And then add B, A, G to get back down, so. All right, so let's put that together. So you've got one, So the next part would be, and then you add E and F at the end. And then we're going to keep going up. G, B, A, G, A, G, E, and D. On that measure, you can apply some of those bowings. Or Practice those bowings on that measure. So now let's put that whole thing together. So we have for the second half. And then if we play the whole thing, Take a minute, get that, it'll be worth your while, because the next part is the same thing. And then we end the same way we ended the first part. So there we are. Let's Play that through a few times at a slower pace, and then I'll leave the backing track running so that you can practice it. So here we go. Two. Three.
to the end and as a bonus I'll tell you that you notice that I'm varying those different bowing patterns and that's what gives the song some interest gives the playing some interest I'll speed it up a little bit and show you what I mean so here how I didn't do the same thing every single time, I was able to fluidly shift from one bowing pattern to the next. How did I get it so that I could do that? By playing all the way through that section with just one pattern and getting that really tight and then trying another bowing pattern and getting that really tight. And then there were certain passages that just felt natural to do certain ways. Um, some of them, like I said earlier, I had to kind of get used to, but it was worth getting used to because, for example, I really like, and that might not be a real uh, natural one because the notes don't go in a one, two, three, one, two, three pattern. But that's that contrast between the notes going more in a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four pattern and the bowing going one, two, three, one, two, three is what makes it interesting. So, playing fast, keep your hand light. Keep your hand easy. Don't really hammer your fingers down. One thing you can do, this is your how to play fast tip of the day. You can practice putting your fingers only down at half weight and it's gonna sound like a bunch of harmonics. It's gonna be very squeaky. So I'm just setting my fingers on top of the string. Now I'm going to press halfway down. You can hear out speaking a little bit more, but still a little squeaky. Now I'm going to go another halfway down. So I'm like pressing three quarters of the way to the wood. Most of those notes sounded pretty good. Really, just my third fingers needed to be a little harder. So I'm going to keep the weight for that on all my fingers except the third finger. I'm going to press a little bit more. You hear how that sounds pretty clean? I'm not hammering my fingers down, and that way they can move a little faster because you're not working so hard. All right, nice job. Next week, I will be back with tips on how to dress this up and improvise over the tune. So, see you next time.